Power up initiated. All systems nominal. Okay. The purpose of this mission is to teach you basic Herc piloting skills. Pay close attention to my instructions because I am not going to repeat them. The joystick is your Herc's primary movement control device. It controls forward, reverse, and steering movement. Go ahead and throttle up by pushing the stick forward. Now let's go over some of the basic systems. Projected onto the cockpit window is your HUD, or heads-up display. Look for the numerical display at the top of your HUD. You should see a green diamond near the center of the heading display. This indicates the direction to your next navigational waypoint. As long as it's centered, you're heading in the right direction. Now stop your Herc when you reach the next waypoint. Waypoint reached. Stop your Herc now by pressing the center 5 key on your number pad. Notice that your waypoint indicator has changed to an arrow. It now indicates the heading on your second waypoint. Throttle up and turn towards the arrow until it becomes a diamond. Follow the diamond on the next waypoint. Check out your radar screen, center console. Cybrids appear as red dots on your radar. Enemy installations are green. Friendly buildings blue. Allied Herx white. You should have a green dot on your radar, an enemy installation. Press the enter key to select it as your target. Your targeting computer should lock onto the structure. Good job so far, cadet. Waypoint reached. Now you will follow the remaining waypoints back to base. I think you can handle that much on your own. Training command out. Waypoint reached. Mission successful. Power up initiated. All systems nominal. This mission will familiarize you with your Herx onboard computer systems. Throttle up and head for your waypoint. While en route, we'll go over some of the basic functions of your onboard computer. The 
the central display of your cockpit is the MFD, or multifunction display. This is the primary display you will use in combat. The function keys F1 through F6 control the MFD. Press the F1 key now to bring up the status display. It provides a general readout of your damage level. Green indicates no damage. When this display turns red, you can start to worry. Press F3 to bring up the topo map. It provides a representation of the nearby terrain. Colors indicate elevation, with white being the highest. Switch the MFD back to radar mode F4. There is a drone herc near your first waypoint. When you have him targeted, press F8 to activate your heads down display. This is the detailed damage display. It gives you a precise readout of your target's condition or that of your squadron. Waypoint reached. Now press F7 to bring up the mission map. The mission map provides a large-scale view of your entire mission zone and enables you to pass orders to your squad members when you are not in combat. Press the escape key now to return to your cockpit view. Now make your heading for the last waypoint. There's a mock-up of an enemy listening post near your last waypoint. Target the installation and move up close to download its databanks. When the download is complete, your mission is finished. Engaging data link. Waypoint reached. Initiating command override protocol. Data transfer aborted. Engaging data link. Initiating command override protocol. Transferring data. Data transfer complete. Mission successful.
sharp initiated. All systems nominal. This mission will familiarize you with the basic combat tactics. You'll be getting some target practice with live ammo against cybered target drones. Try not to hurt yourself. Throttle up and move to waypoint one. While en route, we'll review your Herx weapon controls. Your weapons are all linked to fire in a sequence. Pressing the joystick fire button will fire the current weapon and select the next weapon in sequence. You should be picking up a red blip on your radar, a cybrid drone. Press the enter key to... Press T to engage automatic turret tracking. Auto tracking Your turret engaged. will track the target automatically. Waypoint reached. You are cleared to engage the drone. Fire at will. Enemy nice target. Shooting. Now Destroyed. head for the next waypoint. Auto tracking disabled. The turret will recenter when the target is destroyed or if you lose lock. Or you can recenter it at any time with the backspace key. Auto tracking engaged. Stop your Herc as soon as you reach the next waypoint. Use your radar to line up on the target drones on the hill Waypoint above you. Waypoint reached. You're going to bag these guys manually. The number pad keys will allow you to manually control your turret. Make sure auto tracking is off. Backspace Auto key. tracking disabled. Press the enter key to target the drone. Now use the number pad keys to align the aiming reticule on the target. You are cleared to engage and destroy the drone. Fire at will. Disabled. Enemy Good target shooting, disabled. Now center your torso with a backspace key and head for waypoint three. Your next target will be a moving one, and it will be shooting back. A good tactic Auto against fast disciplines is to back turn. You can back turn by pulling your joystick back and moving it to the lower right or left corner. There is a live drone at your next waypoint. You are cleared to engage and destroy it. You're on your own from here on out. Good hunting. Enemy target disabled. Waypoint reached. Mission successful.
This mission will train you in a prototype Razor, our new close support aircraft. Let's take a moment to familiarize you with the Razor control setup. Your joystick controls up, down, left, right movement. Big surprise, right? Go ahead and drive it a bit to get the feel. The gray plus and minus keys will increase and decrease your throttle. You'll need more throttle to reach max altitude. All computer controls function identically to those in a Herc, except that you do not have auto tracking in the Razor. Now throttle up and head for waypoint one. Note the altimeter on your HUD. The red dash represents the height of the terrain under you. The green line is your altitude. If the red line and green lines touch, you are dead meat. Your radar should pick up a pair of Cybrid installations near the first waypoint. Target the gun turrets first. Take them out with your missiles. Then strafe the remaining structures with guns and lasers. You'll have to make several passes to destroy the base. Watch your altitude. Waypoint reached.
Now let's try a moving target. You should have the enemy unit on radar by now. You are clear to engage and destroy the target. Waypoint reached. You're on your own from here on out. Good luck. Target disabled. Mission successful. initiated. All systems nominal. Passive radar Active mode. Radar mode. Tracking engaged. Passive radar mode.
point reached. radar mode. Point reached. Auto tracking disabled. Auto tracking engaged. Waypoint reached.
Waypoint reached. Mission successful. Initiated. All systems nominal. Active radar mode. Auto tracking engaged. Auto tracking disabled. Passive radar mode. Auto tracking engaged. Waypoint reached. Enemy target destroyed. Disabled. Auto tracker engaged. Enemy target disabled. Waypoint reached. Auto tracking disabled. Shields critical. Auto tracking engaged. Enemy target destroyed.
Mission successful. Initiated. All systems nominal. Auto tracking engaged. Disabled. Auto tracking engaged. tracking disabled.
Auto tracking engaged. Enemy target destroyed. Enemy target destroyed. Auto tracking disabled. Passive radar mode. Active radar mode. Enemy target destroyed. Auto tracking engaged. Tracking disabled. Auto tracking engaged. Auto tracking disabled. Auto tracking engaged. Tracking disabled. Auto tracking engaged. 